The armature is the central component of your cordless drill's motor. The armature, along with the motor's field, creates a magnetic field, which causes the armature to rotate when it is energized by the carbon brushes. The armature assembly includes the bearings and has a gear milled on one end of its shaft, which engages with the drill's gearbox. If the drill's motor is overheated, the insulation on the armature's windings will melt, causing smoke and excessive sparks between the commutator and the brushes. With normal use, the armature's bearings will eventually wear out, often causing a squeaking or squealing sound. Sometimes the gearing on the end of the armature shaft will wear out, causing the need to replace the armature. If this is the case, there will also likely be wear to the gears within the gearbox. If so, it should also be replaced. I'll begin by removing the battery. Now remove the rear cover. It's secured with two screws. Now I'll split the two housings. Now remove the brushes. I'll pull the brush spring out of the way, remove the brush clip, and then I can pull the brush from the holder. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. With the brushes removed, now I'll go ahead and lift the gearbox and motor assembly from the drill housing and slide the armature away from the brush card. I'll pull the gear change lever away from the gear box. There's a couple of springs on the bottom of it. You want to be careful not to lose those. Now I'll pull the armature in the field away from the gearbox. At this point, the magnet in the field is the only thing holding the field and the armature together. So I'll go ahead and separate them. Now I can install the new armature into the field. I want to make sure that this notch on the field is facing towards the front of the drill. So when I insert the armature, the end with the gear should be on the same side as the notch. Now I can install the armature and field assembly back onto the gearbox. Now I'll place the gear selector back onto the gearbox. The two springs just tuck inside of the selector and then this post goes right in between the two springs. Like that. I'll place the switch back into the housings making sure that I line up the change lever with the post on the reversing lever on the switch and making sure that I get the wires tucked out of the way. Now I can place the motor and gearbox assembly back into the housing. This notch on the field needs to line up with a tab on the lower housing. So I'll rotate that around so it's on the side of the assembly. Now I can slide the armature through the brush card and lay the assembly back into the housing. And again, making sure the notch on the field lines up with the housing. Just like that. Now I'll tuck the heat sink back down into the housing. I want to make sure these wires go in front of this plastic post. One last check of all the wires. Don't want anything to get pinched as the housings go together. And now I can replace the housing and secure it. Now we'll replace the brushes. I'll pull the brush wires, our springs, up and out of the way. Install the brush into the holder. Secure its clip to the brush holder and place the spring over the top of the brush. And I do this again on the other side. And now I'll just reattach the rear cap.